There it is, guys. Just got an eastern hognose snake. Oh, man. All right, guys, I just got snake number 20 for the day, timber rattlesnake number five, and it is the nicest looking timber of the day so far. What is up, everyone? It's been a while since I have made a video. Things have been really busy with my new business, but uh, my family and I are taking some vacation time, going to visit family, and I'm taking the opportunity to get out and go herping in a bunch of different locations, so I'm super excited about it. Today, I am back up in Pennsylvania and gonna be hitting a bunch of different spots and hoping to see some snakes today. Um, it's absolutely perfect outside for it. The weather is awesome. So I've got some uh, pretty high hopes for today. So I am going to get to the first spot. I'm on my way there and we'll see what we can find. All right guys, first snake of the trip. Under the second rock I flipped, a little northern ringneck snake. Sitting in a puddle of water under the rock too, believe it or not. I think it rained recently and it's pretty wet back in here. So, love seeing these guys. The bellies on them are just insanely cool. A little different than the southern ringnecks back in Florida. All right, so we're gonna put him back under a rock and keep on going, see what else we can find. All right, I'm gonna try to get some flip clips for you guys if I can. Oh, this is heavy. Nothing under there. Always important to put the rocks back. It's always nice to get out and do some herping that's a little bit different from what I normally do in Florida. Well, I have not seen anything since I flipped that first ring neck of the morning, but this is literally a case of leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Any stone big enough to have something under it anyways. Oh, I have to have flipped a hundred rocks by now. Warm it up a little bit. Definitely helps with the sun out, but still the air temperature is pretty cold. Like around low 50s Fahrenheit. All right, after flipping so many rocks, I finally saw another snake. Found one. Another little northern ringneck snake. Just chilling. I don't know what happened to all the snakes here. Uh, maybe there's something about the conditions that's just not quite right today. Maybe it's a little too chilly for them to be up under the rocks yet. I don't know. Look at these guys. So cool. All right, so we move them out of the way so we can flip the rock back, not hurt them, and then just let them get back under there. There you go. All right, the snakes are starting to come out. Here's this nice eastern garter snake. Just flipped. 
The ones here, they have this interesting reddish, interesting reddish coloration. It's really neat. Well, hopefully this is a sign of <laughs> more snakes to come. Get this guy out so we can flip his rock back. This guy didn't want to get back under his rock. Getting a little defensive. I love how when garter snakes get a little defensive, they uh, inflate their body a little bit and you can see those cool, uh, that skin between their scales a little bit. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go on his way and keep flipping rocks. All right, so right up here on this rock, there are at least three northern water snakes just sitting there basking in the sun. Right there. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer to them. I also have several ticks crawling on me right now. It's very pleasant. Two smaller ones and one big one. Oh, there they go. I love just sitting out here in nature and watching these animals. Not sure what that one is doing. It looks like he's following a scent trail. Maybe he's, this bigger one's a female. The other one, little one's following suit. Oh. Well, if you're looking for the big one, she's the other way. Water snake number five. Lots of these guys out today. Taking advantage of the sunshine, I guess. All right guys, just on the road out and flipping some rocks on the side of the road and check that out. Double flip. Little baby ringneck snake and main target for the first thing in the morning, smooth green. Look at this thing. Get both of these guys out. I'm just gonna flip the rock back. It's a big heavy one. Oh. <laughs> Look at that tiny baby ringneck too. All right. First target of the day acquired. <sighs> These are definitely, these smooth greens are definitely one of the coolest snakes to find in Pennsylvania. Coolest little fossorial ones. Well, it's not super fossorial, but these smooth greens are definitely one of the, my favorite targets to see in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Settle down, buddy. There we go. These little guys are, they eat a lot of uh, uh, invertebrates, makes up a big part of their diet. Come on, sit down. And they don't get huge, they're not a, a super big species. I mean, they get a little bit bigger than this, but this is probably average size that people find but just love that, that vivid, bright green coloration. So happy that there was one under this rock. 
This guy does not want to sit still. All right, buddy. I'm getting on my way to the next spot. I'll probably flip a few more rocks. Maybe if I see if I can turn up a milk snake or another smooth green. Nice. Very cool. All right, buddy, off you go. Just gonna disappear into that green. There he goes, back under his rock. There it is, guys, smooth green number two. <laughs> Things are starting to pick up. Let's get him out. There we go. Put the rock back down. There we go. So cool. This one's a little chunkier than the last one. Nice. All right, I'm gonna keep flipping a few more rocks on my way out of here. There you go, bud. All right, so the first spot of the day was not nearly as productive as it was last year, but it was still awesome to get in there and to find my target for the morning and to get two of them and then to see a few other snakes as well. So I am headed over to spot number two and I'm hoping to be able to turn up a hognose snake if I can, maybe a milk snake and uh, see what else I can find. So I will check in when I get there. All right, well, I'm at the second spot for hognose snakes. And I haven't seen anything yet, but I just found this huge shed skin that seems like it's most definitely from a hognose snake. Yeah, it's even got the upturned snout there, so definitely a hognose. So I'm going to keep going and see if I can turn one up. Be really awesome to see one today. Well, no hog noses yet, but I just flipped this uh, eastern milk snake under this great big rock. I'm not sure, but it's possible this is the same milk snake that I saw with Will and Bob last year at this spot. It looks very similar. It's not in shed this time. Oh, <laughs> super feisty little dude. Now that he's not in shed, if it's the same one. <laughs> Look at this guy. Hey. Ow. Oh, he got my finger. Ow. Wow. What a feisty milk. Beautiful snakes. Always cool to see a milk, even though these aren't the most colorful ones in the world. Still awesome to find. Well, I think I'm going to let this guy get back to chilling under his rock. Keep looking for hognose snakes. There he goes. Back you go. Guys, I... I just hiked up a wood turtle. <laughs> oh man, these guys are so cool. This is the only the second one I've ever seen. Really, really cool little turtles. Pretty terrestrial compared to other turtles in the area. Man, these guys are so cool. I believe these are a protected species in Pennsylvania, so we're just gonna let him go on his way, do what he wants to do, not disturb him too much. That is awesome. So cool.
There it is, guys. Just got an eastern hognose snake. Oh, man. It's in shed, but it's a pretty one. Let's see if we can get him to settle down for a second. There he is. Oh, man. He does not want to sit still. It's really too bad he's in shed. He'd be an absolutely gorgeous snake with a fresh coat of paint on him, but still amazing to see this species again. So cool. Such a cool species. Wish he was doing a little bit more of his uh, neck spreading that they sometimes do. He was doing it a little bit. Look at that guy. So, so awesome to see this species. There he goes. A little bit more defensive. Well, since this guy's in shed, I'm gonna leave him alone, let him get back to just soaking up the warmth and keep going, see if I can see another one. So, so cool. Well, there's wood turtle number two. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Just hanging out. Man, I love these things. They're so cool. All right, buddy. Gonna just leave you alone there. Take it easy. All right, so I've made it up to the timber rattlesnake spot and I'm gonna hike around this quite rocky hillside and see if I can see any timbers out basking. So let's get to it. Well, that didn't take very long. First timber rattlesnake of the trip. Nice black phase. Just sitting there basking. Just thinking about whether he's gonna rattle at me or not. I'm gonna keep going. See if I can find some more. All right, there's timber number two. Another black phase. Right under that rock, just peeking out so we can get a little bit of sun. I'd really love to see a yellow phase too, but these black phases are awesome. I love them. I don't know if he can see me. His head looks like it's tucked away in there, but... Very cool. Hear that? Can't see it anymore, but that's a little juvenile timber rattlesnake. Maybe last year's baby. Saw me before I saw him and took off under the rock and is buzzing away at me. Maybe he'll come back out in a little bit. All right, so I just spotted another one, another black phase animal, just on the other side of that big rock. Right about there. Can see if I can get a little bit closer without spooking him. Get a better look at him. I think what I'm going to do is crouch down on this rock here so he can't see me coming as well. There he is. There. Very cool. I think I'm going to see if I can get my camera out and maybe try to get an actual camera shot of 
something. Oh, I love these things, they're so cool. All right, guys, here's another look at this timber rattlesnake. Just coiled up contentedly, has not moved the whole time I've been watching it. Just totally relaxed. So cool. I'm gonna hike around a bit and see if I can find a few more. And then it'll be time for me to wrap up my day. So I'm just hiking along looking for more timber rattlesnakes and I didn't even see this guy sitting right here. Check that out. That's a black face eastern hognose snake. <sighs> just chilling with the timbers. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that guy's in shed. Not quite as nice looking as could be, but still super cool to see one hanging out right close to this big timber basking spot that's awesome i'm gonna leave him right there he's just trying to bask up some sun i think i stepped right over him that's crazy. Or around him, I think. I didn't step over him. Super, super cool. All right, guys, I just got snake number 20 for the day, timber rattlesnake number five, and it is the nicest looking timber of the day so far. Absolutely gorgeous. Just sitting in a little patch of sunlight to get some get some warmth. I'm going to see if I can get some closer pictures and video of this thing because that is just so, such a nice timber. Wow. So nice. All right, so I was able to get some closer pics of this little timber rattlesnake. Such a just gorgeous specimen. The pattern is so crisp on this thing. It's definitely one of the nicest ones I've seen in the last few years. Really, really awesome snake. All right guys, here's one more look at this beautiful timber rattlesnake before I head back to the car. Such a beautiful specimen. It's been awesome being out here today and show you, showing you guys some of the amazing snakes in Pennsylvania. Can't wait to come back next time. Well guys, that was an awesome day of herping. Not quite as epic as last year's 84 snake day, but still to get out and see 20 snakes and to see some species that I don't get to see that often was just amazing. Uh, we finished with uh, five timber rattlesnakes uh, up there at that spot, two hognose snakes, two smooth green snakes, and a few other common species as well. Not to mention the three wood turtles that I was able to see. So definitely an awesome day. Next, I am headed to Michigan, where my wife is from, and we're gonna stay with her family. And I'm hopefully going to get out several times to try to see some of the amazing species there. Stay tuned, it'll be great.